What's up? My name is Take Nobody here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So I very recently released a video talking about how to download the brand new Minecraft launcher from the Microsoft Store. A lot of the comments I've been getting on that video are comments something along the lines of Microsoft asking me to pay for this and or buy the Xbox Game Pass. No, you don't need to do that and you don't need to spend any money in order to get the new Minecraft launcher on the Microsoft Store. If you already own Minecraft, whether you own it on Mojang or Microsoft, it doesn't matter. I'll show you how to download it here for free. Note that this isn't a piracy guide and you do need to own Minecraft one way or another. So firing up the Windows App Store, whether you're on Windows 10 and or 11, if you search for Minecraft, you'll find a bunch of paid ones here. However, if you search for Minecraft Launcher, you'll find this here. They're two separate versions. None of these here. This one down here is the one that you want. Minecraft Launcher from Microsoft Studios. Try and make sure it's the correct one. And if you need, use the link in the description of that video or this video here, which will take you directly to this. As you see, included with Game Pass or get from the Xbox app. Now, it did say that it was free previously, so how do you get it for free? Well, clicking Get with Game Pass will take you across to the Game Pass purchasing page which is obviously not what we want. What you need to do is click get from the Xbox app here. And if you don't already have the Xbox app on your computer, it'll now be downloaded and set up. I suppose this is Microsoft's way of pushing the Xbox Game Pass to as many users as possible by forcing them to download the Xbox app to begin with. Regardless of whatever techniques they're using to try and get us to download and get this going, I now have installed the Xbox app by clicking the get from Xbox app button here. If you have any issues, check the description down below for video guides on that. Now, I'm already logged in with an account that owns it, so I'll rather switch to one that doesn't to show you how to do this for free. That's why I'm on Windows 11 as well. This is simply a virtual machine that has never had Minecraft installed on it. So now logging into my old Microsoft account that doesn't own Minecraft at all, we get dropped to here. What you need to do if you see this pop up at the top is click install to download any required programs onto your computer for the Xbox app to run properly. Installing gaming services. Awesome. So scrolling down, we once again see Minecraft, Minecraft Dungeons, etc. If we head back to this Microsoft store here, click get from Xbox app, we should be taken directly to the Minecraft launcher here in the Xbox app. If you have Game Pass, you're able to download it directly from the Microsoft store. Hence, that was my previous video. If you don't have the Xbox Game Pass, download the Xbox app and search for the Minecraft launcher yeah, this way you'll see play with Game Pass, a green button as tempting as it is to click. You need to click the button to the right hand side of it, the get for free button. Upon clicking this here, you should be asked to sign in and or confirm your account. And after clicking get, it should be added to your account now. Now you're able to install it here or you should be able to do it from the Microsoft Store here as well. Let's quickly double check Minecraft launcher. And yes, we can install from the Xbox app it's no longer a different button. So now that I have it added on the Xbox launcher, I'll click install here and it should begin downloading for free. Note that I'm not logged into my main account that owns the Xbox Game Pass like I was in my previous video. Just note that if you're still being asked to pay on this page here, make sure you have the Minecraft launcher selected from the choose edition drop down here, not Minecraft or Windows, Dungeons or the PC bundle at the bottom here. It needs to be the launcher. Now, of course, from here, it's simple. You're installing the program and you can launch it up and use it as possible. To address another issue that wasn't mentioned in my previous video, can you still access .minecraft? Absolutely. Hold start, press R and type in percentage app data percentage. And inside of here, you can open up .minecraft where you'll find all of your old Minecraft files, worlds, versions, etc., etc. You can click play now that it's installed for free and from here on out, it's the normal vanilla experience, just with an extra bit of junk wear installed as well now. Regardless, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobe, have a troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.